don't attack the messenger. Look at the message. What he's saying is right. I want you to take a trip with me. You know, this this is you know you know I'm I'm a a movie dude, but I want you to take a trip with me. I think we've 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 been here before. I think you know what that is, man. That's Blade. That's your boy Blade. So a lot of people have attacked Stephen Dorff for saying that most superhero movies are trash and nobody would make a film as good as the original Blade. I detect no lies there. And I think this is even something that I think even Heath Ledger said even so for when he was interviewed before Dark Knight. Most superhero movies are trash. That's a fact. You can't argue with that. Most superhero films are trash because... Here's the thing, comic book nerds and comic book fanboys, you're not involved in this convo. This is a film discussion. It's all because Iron Man is your favorite comic or Hulk is your favorite comic and the film pretty much ticks all of the boxes of your comic, doesn't make it a good film. What I'm talking about is films. Blade is a damn good film. I didn't know Blade was a comic book. When I watched Blade, I was like, oh, this is actually a pretty damn good film. I didn't even realize it was a comic book. That's just how much it wanted just to be is so much of a film and how grounded it was. Because people say that how oh, no, Dark Knight and Batman because it's so grounded. If you want to see something that's truly grounded in reality, the first Blade film. The first Blade film, is fun. it's it's an outstanding piece of work. The only issue is the ending where it gets a bit cartoony, but 95% of it is outstanding. With Wesley Snipes and Stephen Dorff giving superb performances and... <laughs> Sana Lee Than, man. You know, I'm just saying, man. Woo. Um, but Stephen Dorff is telling the truth. So I don't know how people get triggered by, oh, Stephen Dorff, what would have you been in, man? Your films have been, have been so trash. Don't attack the messenger. Look at the message. What he's saying is right. Because when Blade was made by Stephen Norrington back in 98, this was the 90s. And back in the 90s, you had to produce films. This was, remember, this was before Spider Man. This was before X-Men, but the key thing that this was before the first Spider-Man film because Spider-Man came out in Otsu, Sam Raimi, and when that came out, that changed the psychology people had making comic book movies because now they were like, oh, you can make a lot of money from this. Let's now do, a, do the comic book movie way. Whereas back in the 90s and back when Blade was made, you had to make a film. You had to make a film. So Stephen Doss' point is Blade came from a truly artistic place. Where Steve Norton had a Steve Norton and Arnold Snipes had a vision and they put out their artistic vision void of any um studio interference or having to tick any boxes. The issue with the MCU is it's a conveyor belt. Before you make a film, you have to do this, this, that, this, this, that, and mix it fixed in. It's why I've forgotten his name. Oh, the guy who made Hot Force. Someone will tell me, like the director of Hot Force, he was supposed to do Ant-Man. But the reason he didn't do Ant-Man was they say creative differences but really he was like no i have an artistic vision of what i really want to do for Ant-Man. and fight was like nope it's gonna have this 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 and this and thingy was like i'm sorry bro that's not my <laughs> you know if i'm not gonna be an artist i can't do it same thing with Aaron, darren aronofsky who did obviously pi and um, requiem for a dream and so forth he was supposed to do a wolverine film but again creative differences they wanted him to now tick all the boxes everything so it, it, it didn't go through so there is no like, you see, there are a few anomalies with the MCU. For me, I feel it's the Cap trilogy. So Cap 1, Cap 2, Civil War. Oh, see, Cap 1, Winter Soldier, Civil War. You can maybe say Guardians of the Galaxy 1. You can maybe say Avengers. But the only films I can talk to Blade really is that the first two Cap films. Civil War is cool, but it becomes a big thing. The, the only films that can talk to, to Blade, to even have a convo with Blade, is Cap 1 and Cap 2. That's it. Apart from those two... It's all conveyor belt trash. <laughs> it's all conveyor belt trash. So Stephen Doff is telling the truth because let's let's be real, guys. Go watch Blade again. How many comic book movies are as good, are as grounded, and hit as hard and have that kind of solid edge that Blade does? And I dare those clowns to put out a PG thirteen Blade film. I dare them. I fully dare them.